Hello YouTube, this is Matt from Gaming Relay, and today I'm going to show you how to get all the hidden ghosts and the special chest in the Paradox Daily Heroic. Alright, now once you get into the Vault of Glass, you're going to head down here, and this is, uh, for people who have done Vault of Glass, this is where the first chest would be. Now you're going to carefully step off the edge, and if you're a titan like me, you can glide in. If you're a hunter, triple jump works really good. Uh, as you can see, Remy's with me, and he falls to his death the first time. But after a second, he gets it. Alright, now once you get down here, you're just going to jump right over here. Try not to almost fall off the edge like I did. Jump right up here, and right around this corner is your first memory. So the Vex have predicted their own annihilation. When do they believe this would happen? Can the calculations of minds the size of planets be wrong? All right, now you can see I'm in the, the Templar area where you fight all the enemies in the Paradox mission. Now you can jump up here, which is where the Spirit Bloom chest would be. Now you're going to crouch down, and you're going to drop down right over here. Now slowly work your way forward through this area, as you can see I'll do here in a moment. Now, as you slowly work your way forward, eventually you'll come to this pillar right here. Jump up on top, right into this area, and work your way forward a little bit, and right around this corner, as soon as you see Gorgon's Labyrinth, turn around, there's your memory. I had a friend back at the tower. She used to say, Braideth, there's always room in the mind for hope. It's the crack that lets the light in. The Vex have no hope, no imagination, no drive, no fear. All they have is the pattern. Everything must fit. If it can be made to fit, good. If it can't, it gets cut away. Now as you can see, we're in the Gorgon's Labyrinth. Now make sure you kill the boss down here that you're sent down here to fight. After that, you're going to work your way over to the jumping puzzle. Let's follow the path I'm taking right now, and it'll take you right through this tunnel over here and to the jumping puzzle area. Once you make it to the jumping puzzle area, you're going to head straight over to the left, and there's a little tunnel over here. Head right on through it. Now you're going to drop down. Make sure you don't use your boost or your jumps and stuff until you get close to the bottom here, and you'll see a little cave. Now it's funny because this cave and this, this tunnel here and everything has been here since the original Vault of Glass way back at launch. And you know me and some of the other Gaming Relay members have explored this area and wondered why it was here. And it seems now it has a, a reason. They think this is the end of them. A path with no escape. And yet, here they are. There they were, and there they will be, and there they will have been. For them, there is no paradox. There is only the pattern. And the pattern needs the Vex to see the completion. And so the Vex must... Alright, now as you can see, this uh, 
portal over there, the Vex portal, which was just completely dormant and useless, has now activated, and in between where you were and it, a new jumping puzzle is formed. Once again, we'd, we'd been down here, we'd explored, we'd been over to this portal, actually, prior, back, you know, vanilla Destiny, but there was no use for it, and as you can see, they definitely had plans for it. So just work your way over, following the pattern that I uh, just took, and you'll be end up right over here at the portal. As you can see, you are now on uh, the Venus side of the, the Vault of Glass uh, when you would be in the Gatekeeper Atheon fight. And there's a new battle for you to fight in here. Alright, now as you can see, there's a very large Minotaur that you have to take out. Once you take him out, it's a pretty tough fight, but... I mean, not too bad. It's mainly tough because of all the goblins that keep tethering him and making him invincible. But once you take him out, it'll proceed on to the next part of this little quest here. And there'll be some rewards for you. Another dead ghost. This is... Wait. I think this is Pradith's ghost. She's still got files in her core memory. They're marked with future war cult headers. I bet Lakshmi will want to see this. Alright, now we're going to turn that ghost shell into the future war call. Right now, all we get is some reputation. Hopefully in the future it unlocks some further quests. We'll see. I hope this is useful to you. If it was, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. This war has no end, Guardian.